Compassion-informed care takes people's experiences into account to help provide the best possible care. People may bring a history of trauma with them into a healthcare interaction. A compassion-informed approach emphasizes the patient's safety, choice, and control over their own care. The goal is to support people to make decisions about their treatment needs in ways that feel safe to them, while avoiding being re-traumatized. Re-traumatization can happen when people are in situations that remind them of earlier experiences of powerlessness and loss of control. If a patient has experienced trauma in a healthcare setting, they may avoid seeking care. As healthcare providers, it's important that we practice compassion-informed care and be aware that people accessing care may have a history of trauma. Trauma is the emotional, physical, and mental response to an upsetting experience. Trauma can make it harder for a person to cope with stress. Each of us comes from a different social, economic, and cultural background that influences how we process trauma. We may experience trauma on our own, or as a family or community. There are five commonly identified types of trauma. Single incident trauma can include experiencing a serious accident or natural disaster. Complex or repetitive trauma can result from abuse, domestic violence, and war. Developmental trauma includes damaging childhood experiences such as child abuse and neglect. Intergenerational trauma is experienced by people living with others who have experienced trauma in their own lives. Historical trauma includes the long-term effects of a social group's experience of genocide, colonialism, slavery, and war. Let's explore two types of trauma in more detail. With developmental trauma, adverse childhood experiences often occur with children living in unstable or unsafe environments. This type of trauma has been linked to chronic physical and mental health issues into adulthood. Historical trauma can deeply affect following generations. For Indigenous peoples, historical trauma stems from a violent history of colonization within the country now known as Canada. Indigenous peoples were forcibly removed from their lands and territories and moved onto reserves. Indigenous children were seized from their families and put into residential schools. During the 1960s, thousands more Indigenous children were taken from their families and placed with non-Indigenous families. This collective traumatic experience is known as the 60s scoop. Such traumatic events led to an overall loss of language, tradition, and culture. The effects of these traumatic experiences are still felt today by Indigenous peoples across the country. Hospitals and doctor's offices can be scary for someone who has experienced trauma. As healthcare providers, we can create safe and comfortable environments for people when we actively recognize, acknowledge, and understand their trauma. The healthcare provider's role is to create a space where every person feels safe and in control of their own care. Compassion-informed care starts by recognizing and acknowledging that trauma exists and focuses on people's strength and resilience. A compassion-informed approach is based on encouraging open conversation, listening to people's stories, and building trusting, respectful relationships. It's important to use compassionate language and be non-judgmental. Instead of asking, what's wrong with you? We can ask supportive questions such as, if you're comfortable sharing, please tell me what happened to you and how can I best support you? As healthcare providers, we all have a responsibility to create respectful relationships. So how do we put compassion-informed care into practice? We must realize and understand the widespread impact of trauma and potential paths for healing, recognize the signs and symptoms of trauma in every person involved in the system, and respond by fully integrating knowledge about trauma into policies, procedures, practices, and settings, and seek to actively prevent re-traumatization. Cultural safety and cultural humility are vital for compassion-informed care. Cultural humility acknowledges that everyone comes from different backgrounds 
and each person may have different ways of experiencing, processing, and reacting to trauma. Cultural safety is when all people feel respected and safe in the healthcare system. This means providing healthcare services that are free of racism and discrimination. Acknowledging the reality of trauma and committing to compassion informed, culturally safe care improves the quality of healthcare for everyone. <laughs>